Duh. You are watching the number one podcast in the whole entire YouTube community, and I'm one of your hosts, Juanzo. And I'm your other host, Jean Paul Leek. Together we are Rogue Break. Break. And it is time to talk about Monday Night Raw and a lot of implications of this show. You know, a few matches added for WrestleMania already. You know, and even the main event was added in this, you know, in this show. I don't know if it made a lot of sense. Like you said, it would have been cool if they would have added a stipulation at Fazlane. So then we get the winner of a match. And then that will be like the title match for what it's going to be WrestleMania. But uh, with no reason behind it, just we have the main event. So what did you think about this whole show? You know, I feel that it's, okay. it's getting worse. Yeah, I, I, the show as a whole is just not good. I mean, some of the matchups that they gave and stuff like the intensity... But between Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre is good. And we all knew it was going to get there. We all knew that was going to be the match. It's like maybe Brock. Eh, we don't know. Really, nobody's heard anything. So probably not at this point. But you never know. They could add Brock a week before WrestleMania and be like, yep, here he is. But I mean, you know, we knew it was going to be Drew. But at least tease that it could be Sheamus. You know, like you said, you, they just gave it away. I, like, we'll get into it. But Drew just came out and he's like, I want my match. And then it's like, boom, here's the graphic. Yeah. You know, here's the here's the picture. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. You know, and then, but see, I mean, I'll get into it when we get into it, but yeah, it just, I mean, then the tag team match is just awesome Oh, no, 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 too. the tag team match is, you know, is, is a load of crap, so, you know, we'll, we get, we actually channel SmackDown. We thought we were watching SmackDown because that was really crappy. I don't like that. You know, the her business is hurt by that, so absolutely terrible, but thank you so very much for being with every single one of us. Thank you for the subscriptions, comments, you know, love that you give us with all the videos. So, you know, that's why we deliver, and we deliver with more great content. So, you know, there you go. There's sacrifice. Don't forget to watch this video. Swan becomes rich two belts, or Swan two belts. And a lot of people hating on this. A lot of others, like, really afraid that, like, he's going to lose to Kenny Omega. But watch our thoughts, no? Oh, yeah, you know, I, I, I really wish it would have been Moose. But if you're just going to have, you know, him lose to Kenny Omega, I'd rather see Rich Swan. Lose to Kenny Omega, I guess, and see Moose beat him later on. But, you know, this was a stacked show. You know, good match, Brian Myers, Eddie Edwards, you know. Check this out, Ace Austin, TJP, we give all of our thoughts. Exactly, so just don't forget to check that out. But like you said, not even that. The show started and the graphic was already there. The WWE Championship, like, that was the news. That was breaking news. That's how they opened Monday Night Raw. You know, not even, like, it's lastly, they didn't even come out yet. That was how, like, they, they started the show. So they announced that. That kind of bothered me a bit. Why? And like you said, because there was no tease with Sheamus. So it's like, oh, yeah, Drew just says I want a match. So fine. Yeah, we should give it to him. So I, I, I don't know. And like you said, maybe Brock will be added. Maybe Sheamus will be added. But at least if they keep it as a singles match, I'll be fine, too. So, of course, I know that bothered you also. So oh, yeah. Can... This, I mean, just, you know, we just, just kind of jump ahead a little bit. I hope... You know, Sheamus actually wins at fast lane, so then he can, you know, maybe pitch to management, make a point. Hey, why is he in this match? I beat him at fast lane, blah, blah, blah. It should be me instead. And then they make it a triple threat because I feel just being like, yeah, here it is. It's Drew. And it seems almost like Drew's like entitled. Like he's yeah. just like Roman Reigns where he's just in the main event for no reason. Because yeah, if we say it about Roman when he was babyface, we got to say it about Drew. It's like, what have you done? Yeah, I know you were screwed over by The Miz and, you know, Lashy and all that, but... I mean, hey, that's what happens. It's, it's about money in the bank, it. so you know, yeah. earning it. Yeah, like you said, remember Roman with Goldberg. I'm um, next. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, the graphic. Yeah, all right. <laughs> no, I, I hate that. But then the Almighty opened the show. You know, wearing the legit suit, all of that, and you know, MVP says like, I'm just here to just remind you, every single one of you, that like we're in the era of the Almighty. You know, this guy after 16 years of like fighting, fighting, fighting. He finally got the goal, and now he's the WWE champion. And, you know, really good promo by Lasley also, saying that he had to work really hard for this. But, you know, he's going to destroy Drew McIntyre in the main event. But then we got our friend The Miss and John Morrison, and The Miss keeps complaining, you know, I had to wrestle twice the, that, that day, and I had, like, stomach issues. So, yeah, like, he, you can you know, keep saying that The Miss, you know, finally in this instance, in this segment, that was the end of The Miss being in the title picture, at least for me. So, like, he was complaining about that, but then we got our champion, Drew McIntyre, finally coming out. As you can see, he doesn't even see the mean, the miss, or John Morrison. And then you got a really nice promo between these two guys. You know, I like what you mentioned, like, Drew goes, like, I remember, like, we opportunities kept passing by you and me when we were here the first time. Remember, like, when everybody was sleeping already, we, you and me, got into a town, 1, 2 a.m. in the morning. What did we do? Did we sleep? No, we're actually working out, like, thinking of ideas of how to get, how to get over and then we main evented Impact. 
<laughs> they didn't say that, but you know, a lot of people Paul, in the social media world are just putting like the, the match with like Bobby Lashley and drew an impact. So a legit promo though, regardless of all of that. Oh, yeah, you know, this was a good segment, and I like how they just brushed off The Miz and Morrison, and, you know, McIntyre was having a match against The Miz later on, and that was, like, a selling point, and, like, you have in the picture, he's like, Miz, I'm giving you two options. You can either get in the ring, and, you know, I'll kick your ass, or you can shut the hell up and leave, and then, you know, it was almost just, like, the adults are talking, and they're, like, the two little kids, you know, yes. crying in the background, <laughs> but, I mean, and then, but the promo between these two is great. I mean, everything is legit. The only problem I have is just what we stated in the beginning of the review that drew was just inserted. Yeah. You know, he, you know, he had the match against Sheamus. Nobody won. He has his upcoming match against Sheamus. Why not wait for that? Like we said, make that number one contender. So this is like a little tainted, but I mean, the, the promo work and everything is still good. And I like how at the end, you know, he's like, look at me when I'm talking to you to Bobby Lashley, you know, just You're real intense. Bitch. Yeah. And he calls him a bald bitch and all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, I, Lashley's probably the one guy who I wouldn't want to, you know, insult at all. But, you know, I guess Drew thinks he's pretty tough. But as we see in that picture, not really, because, you know, he gets distracted by the Miz. Lashley jumps and beats him down. So then, you know, Miz is all like, hee hee for his yeah. match later on tonight. But obviously, he's not going to win. And then also then Sheamus, like, jump uh, Bobby Lashley. So this, like you said, maybe, like, there's some, you know, tiny, you know, spot there for, like, the Sheamus to be inserted into the title match. I don't know. Maybe, like, for logic and sense... You know, reasons, maybe he will be good, but I don't know. Maybe I want to keep Drew and uh, Lashley, like, clean. But remember, we saw this match also. We saw this match, you know, a few months ago in pay-per-view. So, like, mm, I don't know if it is that all of a sudden grandiose. I just feel that, like, yeah, we've seen this before. Yeah, exactly, but which they, they, they care to, you know, not mention is before he was the United States champion. You know, it's just like, is anybody going to talk about that match that they had for the WWE Championship? Eh, probably not, because WWE likes to pretend that we're all stupid and forget everything after two months. But, yeah, you no, know, and I would, add, I would say they, they're probably like, Sheamus, we're going to keep you lukewarm. If we can't get Brock a week away from Mania, we'll like add you to the match. A day I, I, Mania, I, yeah. I feel like that's what they're waiting. They, they want to do a triple threat because the you know for the Universal Title is just one guy. It's just Edge and Roman. That's nobody's getting inserted into that. I don't see Daniel Bryan. I see that Edge Roman that singles. But this, you know, they're gonna want to do a triple threat. You know, they like triple threats, so you know yeah. I can easily see them doing that for this. So or we'll, we'll have to wait and see. And, you know, like you said, the match that they had, like, it was just to get finally the miss out of the title picture. I mean, like you said, like, you sometimes you kind of finish this kind of feud with a match with a big statement saying, hey, you know what, dude? You're not even worthy of this. Hey, the miss was champion. You know, they used the money in the bank. All the sense in the world on that. You know, Morrison tried to help out, of course. And, you know, he got kicked out of the ring, all of that. And then in the end, you know, he does the claimer kick. And But then, this is the one piece of, like, element that I like this. He used the herlock onto the miss. So that was like kind of like an insult or kind of like taunting like Bobby Lashley. I like that a lot. You know, like we don't see that in any feuds lately in the WWE or any wrestling company. So I like, you know, how he used the other person's like finisher to just hurt the miss. Oh, yeah, that, that was really cool. Like you said, you don't see it too much, so it's something that actually stands out. It's not like something we see every week, so it has yeah. no no effect. But, I mean, this was good, and, you know, I said it before, the, this whole feud is legit. It's just... You know, can Drew earn his way into it? But I guess it's something we just got to accept. So, you know, it's pretty legit. So, it's pretty I, this legit, is it. And that's, and that's unfortunately the only legit thing on this show. Yeah, unfortunately, because then we get to. So, even, you know, even the face of this picture right there. So, you know, he looks like a five year old. So, you know, right there. Like he's out and he demands to, like, for Shane McMahon to come out. And, you know, this was just a bad segment also. Like, this feud is based on, like, the, the nature of the feud is based on, like, Braun Strowman being stupid. So, right there on its own is just a really bad story. So, can somebody get behind this? I don't know how can you. Because Braun Strowman hasn't been relevant in years. And Shane, you know, is just added because WrestleMania, his contract it stipulates that he needs a match at WrestleMania. So, Shane, he says he's not able to make fun of a human being. And, you know, not even, you know, somebody that works in the WWE. So, Strowman wants a match right now. He's, oh, yeah, 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 you know, I want my match. And just Shane says, well, you know, Braun Strowman is stupid, and he always is doing stupid things. So, yeah, that's fine. We have the match. I don't know. You know, this is, again, yeah, and, and, this and, are cool, and then this uh, change channel. Yeah, th I mean, this is awful. And, like, he's playing hopscotch at the ring. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll teach you how to count. And, he's, you know, Shane's like, oh, I'll kick your ass and all this stuff. And, you know, he wasn't wrong with what we saw later on. But, you know, this is just... 
I feel like they're doing this for, well, three reasons. But if you, two reasons, kayfabe. You said the real reason, Shane needs a match at Mania, it's in the contract. But, you know, kayfabe reasons, it's we got to turn Braun Strowman babyface again because his heel run is over because Shane is the clean, is the clear heel in this. And it's, you know, to get Strowman to match at WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, no, you don't have a plan for this. Because, yeah, because this is, it's not like, oh, we thought this really, you know, well thought out, good storyline for Strowman to have a match. No, this is, this is awful. What do we do? We have A and B. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. combined. That's all we need to do. You know, tomorrow yep. is going to be, oh, uh, actually, yeah, today that we're recording this is like Austin 316 day. So, like, our, like the girls were right there and our truth, like, just shows up out of nowhere. Just like thinking that it's today. That was, you know, yesterday. Like, so it's not today. <laughs> so, of course, our truth playing like he's a, he's a normal, like, goof. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It helps out somewhat. You know, like, they always do that, so it's fine. Yeah, I mean, our, tr our truth is funny, but I feel like if this was maybe a two-hour show, it would, it would, like, the jokes would help a little bit more. But when you're in the, you know, a three-hour show, it's like, ugh. It's unsavable. You know, they don't even help. Yeah. It's unsavable, absolutely right. So you saw those four girls, and Dana Brooke, Mandy Rose, Naomi, and Lana, they were in a tag match. And, you know, <laughs> is it worth to talk about any inequalities about this? No. <laughs> there's no, there's no worse. But, like, I mean, Mandy... Tries to, like I said, improve. Dana is, eh, you know, some matches is good, some matches is not good. Naomi and Lana, they were, like, the ones, remember, they had the title match a few weeks ago. So, you know, the main yeah, thing... Yeah, and was, you know, I was going to say, yeah, and you through. had... Yeah, you had the tag champs were on commentary, and it's like, okay, we're talking about the match, but also talking about Asuka. Nobody's really focusing on the match. She comes out. Shane is like, oh, I'm going to break, you know, I'm going to kick her teeth out again, blah, 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 hold my title. So then she goes to beat up Asuka, and then, you know, the match is still going on, I guess. You know what I mean? Then it's, it's why have the match? Yeah. Just, just have, I don't know, just be like, oh, we heard Asuka's back. You know, maybe they interview Shayna Baszler and all this. Oh, you know, you have a match coming up later. She's back. You know, are you scared? Is she going to you know, retaliate? Oh, I don't give a shit. Blah, blah, blah. I kicked her ass before. Then that's when you do a backstage assault because there should be heat. It should be like you kicked me in the face, you know, blah, yeah. blah, blah. You know, that's when a backstage assault would actually mean a little something. Instead, we get this tag match that nobody cared about. So... And in the end, like you said, like Dana Brooke did, like uh, that was a nice at least neck breaker, something different because she's used to do the swans on for the finish, but she did that and she pinned like you saw Lana, so they get the win. But like again, are they going to challenge for the titles? Probably not because they just did. And if they do, what are, what is it going to happen? They're not going to win. Mm -hmm. And if Sasha and Bianca win, then you know they're not going to win either. So what's the point? Like you said, that's the one thing is like the shows. That what happens on TV needs to reflect on pay-per-view and back and forth. It should be like that, but unfortunately, they didn't do that. And now we're going to go with the worst part of the show. You know, we've said this so many times. What are these guys tag champions? Can you put anybody else? What happened with the Lucha House Party? I will not be upset if the Lucha House Party would have won the titles. But no, you know, Raw Tag Team Championship match New Day against the Hurt Business. Absolutely awful. I don't know if there's a single soul in this world that, that loves this idea unless you're like, you know, a five-year-old. Or a six-year-old. But, like, this was just bad. And the fact that, like, Kofi and Xavier were wearing Mortal Kombat did not redeem that at all. No, and now I was going to say, is there, like, a video game thing coming up or some kind of... I know the, I, knew, I knew the new game is coming out, but, like, I was going to say, the only way I could think to well, put the, the titles... Also coming up, yeah, to, to, put, to put the titles on these guys would be if they were going to some convention or going to some kind of, you know, big spectacle where cameras would be on them. You know, non-wrestling fans would see them. Oh, look, they're, they're the WWE Raw t Tag Champs, like how you did with Bad Bunny. Oh, he's the 24-7 champ. Oh, what's that? WWE, that's wrestling? Let me watch wrestling. Unless you're doing it to try to gain more fans, there's no reason to put the belt on these guys. Oh, wait. Yes, there is, because they think the New Day sell tickets, and they want to put them on WrestleMania. You know, yeah. which is, it, it. that's a shame to the Hurt Business, because Lashley's the champ. Why not have the entire Hurt Business be at WrestleMania? So, as champ, I, I mean, yeah, that's what champs. I mean. That's the main reason, yes. That's and a now, big, yeah, big And, and if you wanted to do, do, okay, the New Day win, okay, Babyface win at WrestleMania, whatever. But at least let these guys, you know, walk into WrestleMania as champs. Don't yes. you think they des they deserve that? Like, even if they're going to lose, okay, whatever. But, you know, this is bad. And then I was thinking, oh, maybe they'll get the rematch at WrestleMania or something like that. You know, I don't know. But then, no, because what we saw later, you know, is, you know, and, and the match was good. You know, we got to say Xavier and Kofi, legit wrestlers, but just the gimmick and how they portray and act. No, it's just, it's pathetic. To be the 11, only thing that I didn't like from that poll was like, you know, Kofi and Xavier, like during the final sequences, it was only them. 
You know, there was no counter. There was no like. Oh yeah, they they yeah he he knocked uh, Cedric. Alexander, you know, they did, yeah, yeah. taken out, and then they did like yeah, they just beat the, yeah, they just beat the like shit Shelton. out of yeah, they just beat the shit out of Shelton, and it's like oh okay, you know, so much for the tag champs. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yes, yes, but like then we got to see AJ Styles with Mandingo or like with you know Om- Omas. So like he they came out, and finally they're actually revealing they're going to be a tag team, and they challenged the New Day. At WrestleMania for the tag team titles, so that at least okay makes sense, and I hope that like because they put AJ Styles into this, they're gonna win and they're gonna become the new tag team champions. Just because like the, uh, another thing that you mentioned about Strom, they didn't have anything for AJ, so that's why they had to do this. And I mean, am I happy? Not really, but at least if they win the ta- the championships, that's fine. You know, it was confirmed. Yeah, right? I mean, how how pathetic is this? And I mean, I hope the the feud for the United States Championship isn't Ali versus you know Riddle. I mean, maybe you're, see, I, I don't know, do a returning Keith Lee, unless Keith Lee has fallen out of favor and he's completely done. Yeah. I mean, I, there's so much better things you could do with AJ. That's why oh, I don't yeah, understand like, why you didn't have this feud go on and just do the Hurt Business versus the New Day at WrestleMania and have yeah. AJ maybe going against Riddle and Keith Lee or just going against Keith Lee, you know, who knows, or just something. It is, I, I feel bad for AJ and I feel bad for the Hurt Business. Oh, yeah. No, no, because like you said, like AJ, every single year, he's got a really nice championship match. You know, Jericho the one year, Shane the other year, The Undertaker last year. Yeah, Re- like yeah Re- more, Randy Orton. Randy Orton, you know, every single year he's been somebody that is worthy of AJ Styles. But this year, really, you know, we don't have really anybody. You know, like he wanted Triple H. He wanted Edge. You know, he wanted maybe Seth Rollins. One of those guys, you know, but no, no he has to like, really... You know, go and do this trash. You know, mm-hmm. absolutely. And bad. someone else on Raw who's definitely not going to have a match is Jeff Hardy. I saw Jeff Hardy was saying some things about AEW that were pretty nice things. So I can see WWE going, yeah, you're done. Exactly. Like, uh, you know, the main event guys, guys that like even were there, like the name values right there, they didn't really have any matches for WrestleMania. So the car is like a little like lackluster for me as of now. Like, even Edge and Roman, I don't know if they're going to be able to put all the weight of the show on them so we'll see what happens but you know we get to see like we said our boy bad body not really our boy but like uh you know damien our boy priest. damien priest is already yeah yeah damien priest is fine you know bad bunny just won the grammy of best latin pop album like i don't know if that's legit i mean they had to do that but in the worst fashion possible you know he's taunting the miss so we went back to this remember we reported this months ago hey there's going to be a tag match between them at wrestlemania there you go so that Wait, this, the this 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 was always the plan no, yes. the, the Miz was never going to walk into WrestleMania as champ. He was always just going to be transitional because they needed to put it on a heel. So yes. it could, you know, and why not Lashley? One, he deserves it. And then it's on a heel to have Drew chase it in the WrestleMania. And, you know, in the most generous like way, not, not degenerate, but in the most generous way, there you go. He gives her to the 24 7 championship. Like, so, you know, I don't really need it anymore. Yeah, he's like, I, it, it's like, I already had this title at the Grammy. So WWE said, I can, I'm supposed to give it back. I'm so. supposed to be giving it, give it back to yeah. you. So there you go. Have it, Drew. Oh, <laughs> is it my shampoo? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, yeah, you can have it. It's yours. All good. So, you know, <laughs> um, you know, whatever. Like, this is again, you know, this title has no meaning. And you know, yeah. it doesn't really matter who has it to me, honestly. And then we go to them in prison, Jackson Riker. And, and if you blink, and if you match. if you blink, you missed it. Exactly. If you blink 182, you missed it because it was lights out. I think it's called the finisher or lights. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah, a hit hit the lights. It's like hit the light. Yeah, hit yeah. the kill, hit the kill switch with Christian. No, no, hit the lights. Done. And, you know, like, and then we got to see Elias was, like, you know, going against Damian Priest. So they're going to have maybe these four guys, you know, battling for, like, the next couple of weeks. And then, like, you saw the Miz actually went at Bad Bunny. Uh, you know, he actually beat him with a guitar, I think, or, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. hit him with the guitar. So, yeah, I mean, this pretty much solidifies, I would say, the feud for WrestleMania. And I think R- Riker and Elias are just kind of going to be, like, you know, just, just I don't even know what you would call it, caught, caught in the crossfire for right now. I guess for this, they're probably going to just get beat up until sometime after fast lane and then okay now it's just the four of them because i really know if they do a six man tag match or some kind of not six man but you know three tag teams that would be a bullshit match oh no no yeah i mean if you put elias in Riker, is that making the match better no (laughs) you know it's like you know jobber legit guy you know kind of like oh yeah champion but like we really don't have anything for morrison and the miss oh ty is the wife oh that's legit but nothing else you know nothing really Okay, let's make this great now. But, you know, WWE fashion. Oh, we're talking about greatness, right? Ah, damn. <laughs> Shane O'Mac and also Braun Strowman. All this thing was also like a terrible idea. I don't know how you can enjoy this. 
you know, when you have any other companies, at least they put a little bit more effort. I mean, in, in some cases it's better, in some cases it's worse, but like, really? This thing with like Strowman playing games, he really take him out. The Strowman plays like, of course, like an idiot. And then he beat him up with a camera and then all of that. And then he did the elbow. So I thought he was going to move, but no, he did the bionic elbow. Of course, in Shane McMahon fashion. And then he brought the green goose. Or whatever, goo, like whatever liquid. Goo, yeah, yeah, green goo, yeah. And this is this was all just. I didn't think he beat the shit out of Strowman. I thought maybe he'd have somebody jump in. Maybe we'd see like Dabakato come back or something. You know, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But I mean, because you know, if you want to go back to Raw Underground, but that might have been far enough, you know, in the past that they expect us to forget Raw Underground. But I mean, this this is just embarrass Strowman, get under his skin. We saw he was pissed when this was over, and this is just to prolong the match that. Nobody cares about. So yeah, and you know this match was added for fast lane. You know, okay. I feel that like they're gonna keep dragging this until WrestleMania. He's gonna do something like you said. Maybe Balor Ganush will be out. Mm-hmm. We'll do you know, anything of that. Like they will do something like to keep this prolonging. Mm-hmm. That maybe they'll that. do. Maybe they'll do some kind of steel cage match at WrestleMania so Shane can jump off the cage. Exactly. So like not really good. Absolutely not. Uh, more promos from Rhea Ripley. I think that like she either comes out on fast lane or she actually comes out of WrestleMania or before WrestleMania she gets a match with like a jobber or anything like that just to pump her up, just to hype her up for like a few weeks and then maybe after I mean, WrestleMania is when yeah, the big is, The fact that they're taking so long to debut her, I don't like because I mean it's like where Charlotte. That would be a perfect feud even if it's non-title. Just because there's no Lacey Evans, that storyline's done. We haven't yep. seen Charlotte unless she's, you know, like, oh, Andrade, I'm sorry, you know, that, that yeah, they didn't release is, you. Yeah. This is, I you mean, know, making him better. better. Yeah, I mean, so, who, but that that would be the feud I would do. But if you have really nothing for and you want to debut at WrestleMania, if you're going to have that awful women's battle royal, maybe have her win that. I don't really know, but I mean, enough of the promos. We oh, already yeah, know, we already know who Rhea Ripley is. is. We know how badass she is. Just get her on TV. Oh, you know, maybe a number one contender between her and Charlotte, and then whoever wins, Asuka at WrestleMania. You know, a little bit, you know, interesting that way people, mm-hmm. okay, oh, she finally got a, got back at Charlotte. Oh, okay, and she's going to go for the championship, and maybe, okay, Asuka, give me the title. You've been legit, but nobody really cares you as a, you know, cares for you about the champion right now, but we'll see what they do. It doesn't exactly. really matter, WWE fashion. You know, let's go with Alexa Bliss, right there, talking to, like, the, the kind of the fiend, you know, like, right there is there's, a, like, a box, right there, talking about that, and she mentions that, you know, Randy Orton is winning one in a match with her. So she says, well, Randy, you know, the time can be at the fast lane. So are you going to take it or not? So you see Alexa Bliss on like with like the contacts and all of that. Then Randy Orton answers and she's like, oh, so, well, they make me want to do this. I don't really, I want the fiend, but all of that. So he's like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> it's fine. You know, boom, fast lane. Now they're going to have the match. So it's an intergender, but you know, it's not going to be a match. You know that the, maybe the fiend is going to tease a return. It's pretty much done in the Undertaker's fashion. Remember when yeah. you and now, see, if the music will hear, you know, all of that. It, the way that they should do this, it should be like a legit match, and then she's kind of just stands in the ring, doesn't do anything, and he just RKO's her, boom, she sells the shit out of it. He pins her, and it's over, and then, like, the light, you know, I, like, actually, because we've seen him RKO women before, so, you know, yeah. just do it here, and then just, you know, have the lights go out afterwards. But don't have it, like, you know, the Fiend comes out and chokes him, and then Randy Orton looks like a, you know, just like a, a loser. Have oh, him yeah, at least yeah. have him at least look like a badass. Like he's so deranged, he's so crazy. He'll beat up women who are like a third of his size. You yeah. know what I mean? Like he'll he'll beat up. He's you know this desperate. He's this crazy. He'll do anything. So just have him RKO her. I think that would be badass. And also, and, you think yeah. about it, like this woman has been you know messing up with his head for the you know the past That's month I, and a half. Yeah. So is it time for a payback? You know, it, exactly. it doesn't matter. Like, payback like, on fast lane. I RKO you know RKO her and then like you said my pain winner. Or, or I don't think they're going to even do I I would like that, but maybe, you know, before the match, you know, Fiend turns or whatever, and then we see the Fiend coming back. And oh, then that's, that's what I'm sure it'll be. Because I'm, sure I'm, um, I'm hearing Paul, like, what they're going to do is something very similar with, like, uh, the, the, the dead match, Barbed Wire, that they did in AEW. Very similar, because they learn how to kind of do it. So they're going to add those maybe explosions, but hopefully the explosion actually happened, you know, this time. But supposedly the technical the tech guys in uh, AEW, they try and they tested the pyro, but it was supposed to go on TV. It didn't happen. So whatever. You know, that's live TV for you guys. We always mention that. So there you go. United States Championship match. Riddle against Mustafa Ali, the little retribution. This was just bad. I don't know. I don't know how you think about it. I, but yeah, I, don't, I don't know how they had... I don't know how they had such a legit non-title match. Or what was that? A week or so ago? 
Yeah. And, I mean, it, it was a great match when he saw it go because Ali actually got the win. I mean, he kind of botched his little finisher there at the end of that, but, you know, he got the win. We're like, okay, you know, this was a hell of a match. Like, let's get this for a pay-per-view. Let's, you know, do something with this because if Ali gets some wins, Rick, because Retribution as a group has looked like absolute shit. Oh, yeah. But, but, I mean, if Ali gets some wins, you know, I don't know, maybe, you know, storyline-wise, that'll motivate his troops to start wrestling better, get some more wins, and maybe get this group looking legit. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe they're going to turn the Hurt Business babyface, and then we'll see a, re, you know, a revisited feud with these guys if they're portrayed more legit, especially if Ali is United States champion. But, no, you know, just a bullshit quick match. This was maybe five minutes, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what? What was the point of this? Exactly, exactly. Not treated as a series, and you know, Matt Riddle wins, and then Mustafa Ali or Mustafa Ali, he was like bitching at their crews, like, oh, so I want a rematch, I want a rematch, and he actually went on WWE exclusive. He wants a match at the fast lane, so I don't know if they're gonna add it yet because there's a lot of matches already, but they might have that. But like you said, it's like, what's the point of having Ali look like this fool every single time? The only legit thing is, like you said, Mia Yim right there. Look at that picture. Take out the other four guys. Focus on Mia Yim, people. Legit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Keith Lee, you know, we salute you. But, I mean, no, I, I, and, and also, what's the, what's the point of, you know, just having him yell at these guys each and every week unless they're going to just say, screw you and just leave him? Yeah. Well, and, like, then, they're, and then they're that would turn, and then in, in wrestling logic, that would turn all of them babyface. Yeah. And, and uh, oh, yeah, you're going to be a baby face looking like that. Yeah, like, like what are you going to do? Take off the mask and you're yeah, all smiling? And, 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 like, I'm going to be I was, you know, punking everybody. Hi. Yeah. No, no. So, uh, you know, poor, poor Ali, if they have the match, have him then win it. Or at least, you know, have mm-hmm. a contest. Especially because, because like, uh, we, we both are fans of Riddle. I mean, may, not like, oh, my God, he's the greatest ever, but we like him. And how how is he portrayed on Monday Night Raw? At least, yeah. you know, yelling at his troops and he goes by on the scooter. Yeah. Yeah, you know, right, right. There, you said like it, it's not, it's not even a serious champion. So you know, it goes for Bobby Lashley that carried the goal, like really, you know, mm-hmm. nice, legit, serious, good. No, Riddle is like oh the scooter, and then putting him with the New Day was awful as well. Oh yeah, you know, it doesn't help out that like a team that everybody hates. You know, putting with him a little bit of the hate is going to spread out. So Paul, let's go to the next match that we have, and that is Asuka against Shayna Baszler. This was really quick. Um, you know, Asuka like a lot of intensity though. Really, really good intensity on Asuka. And, you know, Shayna kind of like almost like knocks her teat out one more time because she did a she did a knee. Uh, she hit like a really knee strike. Like that was really cool. But like careful with Asuka, like another like concussion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this this was good in a couple aspects, bad also in a couple aspects. Of course, Naya had to get involved. But like you said, Asuka had that intensity. She pretty much got rid of Naya. She was a non-factor, really. And this intensity is great. Now, of course, she came out, you know, dancing and smiling. She still has that charisma. But I like this intensity. We we don't see this intensity in all her matches. I don't care if when she comes to the ring, like I said, smiling, dancing, doing her shtick. But when the bell rings, like we say, that's when you need to turn the legitness on. And that's what she did in this match. But... You know, we still saw the same, you know, Shayna Baszler won, which was a little bit like, uh, now I know it's, oh, well, what about what happened after the match? Well, that's not important because that doesn't go down on your, you know, record, on your win-loss record, what you do after the match. So, you know, she gets the cure food of clutch. And, oh, no, no, Oscar actually Asuka did win. Uh, yeah, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, she, that, that's In what the I Becky, mean. The, the yeah, that's what I mean. Was this, the, I, sorry, I had the wrong person. It's just like, what does this, you know, what does this do for, uh, for Shayna? You know, it's like, yeah. is she going to, because it's, I thought she was going to win and maybe they would set up the match. Excuse me. I was all messed up. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, what are they, is Shayna not going to, you know, who's going to challenge? Is it going to be Charlotte? Are we going to see that same bullshit match? And if we do, I hope Oscar wins because like Charlotte's been off TV. There's no real, they're not building up a feud. This was at least you had a little something going because she kicked her teeth out. There's a reason. You know I mean? right yeah, you, you had like when Nia Jax broke Becky Lynch's nose and that pushed Becky to the moon. You know, <laughs> Nia Jax was like, oh, yeah, you know, nobody thanks me for, you know, getting Becky Lynch's push started. And it's like, you know, hey, this kind of started a little bit of a feud, a push, you know, for Shayna against Oscar, but we didn't see it. So I don't know. I don't. And, I, it was like, like you said, it, it needs to just, uh, you need to have somebody build up for like what is going to be Asuka like there's no reason why your champion has not have a single meaningful feud in months you know yeah. months 
you know, and there was no reason for her to be tag champ. And, and, yeah, and, and also because her. we're seeing, you know, hey, reward Shayna because Nia is getting a bullshit title match against Charlotte. I mean, not Charlotte against Sasha against Sasha, against Sasha on SmackDown. SmackDown. So give, you know, because after the match, you know, she was pissed. She goes to kick Oscar. She catches the leg and just, you know, Oscar goes crazy, which is badass for her. But it's like, like you said, like, she removed like the the pad on one of like the the ropes in the turnbuckle, mm-hmm. and then she did kind of like the same thing. She wanted to like maybe like knock one of the teeth. Yeah, because she took her mouth guard out or kicked it out or did yep. whatever yeah shane normally wears like a, te- a tooth guard or whatever but yes so we'll, we'll see what happens you know is a few that like in, you need somebody for Asuka and you need it bad i mean is it yeah. gonna be rhea ripley like we already mentioned her or is it gonna be charlotte but it needs to be somebody quick maybe a multi-women match that would be fine you know maybe rhea maybe charlotte maybe shana that way at least you're giving everybody a chance and no you're not they're not just like pointing it out of charlotte oh yeah she's gonna win the championship one more time because exactly. that would be completely boring and uninteresting. The main event time, Drew McIntyre came out. And he just talked about, he gave a tease for like AEW also like uh, Revolution. He said, if you're not serious, if you don't do things right, like, like you know, messing up with MVP, but kind of he threw a line about like also says the sparks will fly. So there you go. He kind of, a lot of people were relating that to Revolution. So a good promo from Drew McIntyre. And it makes sense, you know, w, AEW all the time, they make fun of WWE. It's time for a little retribution, no pun intended. But then uh, here we see the main event, Sheamus against Bobby Lashley. This was okay. I wonder, I'm not going to say it was a great main event, but at least, you know, both men look really strong. But then Drew was actually right there sitting, you know, kind of like Roman does with, like, SmackDown. Drew has to do the same thing on my, on Monday Night Raw. And your thoughts on this? Because that's how, you know, uh, that's the kind of attention that we watch when we watch a Monday Night Raw. That's oh. how good we look. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this match was really good. It, I mean, in the sense, like where Sheamus looked good, and that's why I was thinking, okay, maybe he's going to win a fast lane because they want him to not look, you know, too weak going into that match. And it's like, maybe he'll win. Maybe he'll be inserted triple threat. The only thing that I thought was a little bit eh, to counteract my own point was Lashley's the champ, and he was, you know, selling for Sheamus a little bit. Not not a lot. Not like Sheamus was kicking his ass, and it's like, oh, my God, he, you know, Bobby Lashley made some crazy babyface comeback. But this wasn't like, you know, versus Lashley versus The Miz or somebody yeah. like that. No, I mean, he was selling for Sheamus. A couple of times you thought Sheamus, okay. You know, he hit the white noise and all that stuff. Obviously, Lashley kicks out. You know, it still looks strong and everything. I love just the ending when he's going for the bro kick like you have in that picture and he spears in midair. I mean, that that was legit. And just, you know, but so obviously, you know, champ's going to win. He's going to look good. But it's just like I, I really don't know what they're what they're doing. Especially with what's going on at the end, because like I said, Lashley, he had to sell for Sheamus. You know, he didn't look super dominant, but he still won, so good. But then Drew comes in the ring and claymores him. Right there. Right there. So he, he claymores him, and then you make your champion look like shit. And now it's like, you know, as much as I love Drew, now it's like they're making me want to see Lashley win at WrestleMania even more. And like you said, this was the final picture that we saw right there. Yeah. So like really, like the focus for the focus of the show was like Sheamus and Drew. And what about your champion then? Exactly. <laughs> you know, and like this is what it should have been. You know, this Drew and Lashley, like that's going to be the main event of WrestleMania or one of the main events on that. You know, regard, but like this was like how the show ended, and it's because they're going. I mean, have yeah, or or have maybe like you know he Drew gets in the ring and he's going to claymore him, and MVP shoves Lashley out of the way. He eats the claymore. And then, you know, just maybe they can stand tall or they can brawl. And maybe he tries to put the hurt lock on him. But Drew rolls out of the ring, points at the WrestleMania sign. Lashley looks pissed. But uh, but see, I mean, all that makes Drew look like a heel. Uh, yeah, everything like every, everything like, kind of points to Drew. To, like, do that. Everything look, I mean, now. But the if, one if, thing, like you said, there was no reason for him to get a claim. No, no, no. You know, I mean, if their plan is to turn him like this. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yes. So, family, you know, this was Monday Night Raw for every single one of you. We, got, we hope you enjoy the review. Eh, you know, we'll see what happens next week. We're going to have also fast lane on the weekend. So finally, WrestleMania is going to kick in completely. Are we really excited about WrestleMania? They need to get us excited. That's their job. Our job is to judge it. Their job is to make it like, really good. So, you know, that's what we're going to do. So please give us a, do, do us a favor to us. Subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Give the video a like. So the video goes like uh, Cameron to the moon. So, family, we'll see you for AEW, NXT. We have a lot of content for you guys this week. So, where else can they find us? Make sure you follow us, Rope Break on Facebook, the OG Rope Break on Twitter, the original Rope Break on Instagram, and, of course, right here on YouTube, the home of the fastest-growing brand and the number one podcast in the YouTube wrestling community, the original Rope Break. And, you know, you and me have one more thing that is left to say, and that is... 
Uh, 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 uh,